Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. So guys, this video is about how to use Cisco Packet Tracer Part 2. So we have already made Part 1 of the video, how to use Cisco Packet Tracer. So guys who have not watched that video can go in the description section of this video and you can watch that video also. So guys, in the Part 1, we saw that what are the different toolbars, uh, what are the different boxes, uh, then how to use this uh, uh, boxes of the devices and how to select the devices, how to connect the devices we saw. Uh, here in the picture, like we, we took some uh, routers, we took a switch, we took a PC, then how to give the nodes and everything we saw, how to fill the colors and these things we saw. And uh, as I told guys, this particular toolbar, which is the common toolbar, it is very, very, very useful. I think we left with this adding the PDU, so we'll, we'll uh, continue with this. So these are the two options, guys, where you can add the packets. So this first option is to add simple PDU. And the second option is to add uh, complex PDU. So, so I'll show you how to add simple PDU first of all. So it is simple, like just click on this packet, we'll see one packet currently on the screen and select the source and destination. So my let's say my source is the PC and the destination is the router. And guys, here you can see at the bottom, you can hear you, here you can see that the packet which uh, went from this PC0 to the router, that was the ICMP packet and it was successful. You can see over here. Again, guys, I'll select one more packet. Just watch that particular section. I'll click on the source and I'll click on the destination. You can see another packet which was successful. So uh, this is simple uh, PDU. Again, in the simulation, you can uh, again see here a lot of options over here also where you can actually play and see the traffic. I'll sh show you how, how to see it. Uh, so I'll select simple PDU. I'll select the source and I'll select the destination and I'll play this thing. So guys, you can see actually the packets, how the packets are moving. You can, you can see that packet, that how that packet are moving between this different devices. So uh, if you wanted to uh, analyze these packets, you can also do so. You just need to uh, stop playing this thing. Like you need to pause, pause it. So I'll pause it. And once you pause it, you can, let's say you want to see one packet. I'll just expand this. So these adjustments you can do over here. Now, let's say you wanted to see a packet between... Uh, uh, this particular uh, switch and the PC, you know, which was the ICMP packet. So you can go here and simply click click on this. You will see that packet. So you can you can see this uh, PDU information on this layers. You can see the, basically the OSI layers, each and every layer. So and also guys, the uh, the beauty of this is that if you click on any layer, you'll get the information that that what exactly is happening at this layer so uh, this is very important for i'll say when you are preparing for examinations or you are for your self studies it is very very important or i can say very useful option what cisco packet presser provides you again i'll show you one more option that is of the complex pdu there is not much difference between the simple pdu and the complex pdu it is the same thing just the difference is i'll just show you over here so i just select this complex pdu i click on this pc and here is the option basically in complex pdu it gives you an option let's say which kind of application you want to select let's say i want to select an ftp okay as I, I want ftp packet to be sent so i can select the ftp i can select uh, the destination ip the source ip you know and all this stuff i can i can select and i can send it so uh, this is about complex PDU. You can go and you can try and explore this option as well. Now, there are a few more options which are uh, very uh, useful and uh, many people are not aware of these options basically. 
but these are very useful options which I'm going to show you now. Um, one more option which we left in the last video uh, was regarding this this magnifier. This is basically inspect. Now if I click on this inspect and uh, this is the magnifier which I have over here and if I click on any of the device let's say I click on this router so I can get few details or few information regarding this router let's say I can get the routing table so if I click on the routing table here is the routing table of the router uh, let's say I want uh, to to see the uh, a port status summary table so these are the port status summary table of the router these are the different ports of the routers so this is again a very useful uh, uh useful tool when you have a big uh, bigger topology and you don't want wasted time and again go on the router and check which all interfaces are configured or what is the routing table and the extra stuff which we saw so this is again a very good options or uh, you can try again uh there are a few more options uh, which are really very good options and that those are present in this main menu of options an option of preferences which is which 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 actually gives you a lot of things you can try in your cisco packet tracer let's that is uh, one of the thing is related to the interface now this interface is not the interface of your device but the overall interface of cisco packet tracer now you can see there are a lot of options over here say you have this option of uh, here like show linked lights so you can see there is few lights between this devices between this let's say between this router and this switch you see this green colored lights now if i uncheck this now you find that those lights are gone but i'll recommend always to keep that because it shows you the status of the port so i'll go in this option preferences and i'll again select this show light show link lights and you can see we are able to see this lights the second option is administrative now administrative is where you can keep a password for this particular uh, preferences uh, like uh, let's say I keep a password of uh, cisco and just to confirm cisco I'll enable this password now i'll close this dialog box and again if i go into option preference and administrative it will ask me for the password so if i give this password cisco it is open so now uh, you can disable this password it is of not much use lock few things i can i can lock it like you know if i interface tab you know i don't want this interface tab i can just click on this interface tab and if i if i close this box again if i open references you will find interface uh, interface tab is completely blocked so you know no other user if he is using this uh, tool he won't be able to make any changes over here so uh, you can uh, keep a lot of these things you can keep the password you can lock few things we lock uh, unlock few things so these are the various options which are available in this in this particular tab of administrative again show and hide so this is again one option where you can uh, hide or show a few things uh, like uh, let's say i have wanted to um, hide uh, all devices uh, cli tab you know so if i click on hide all devices cli tab you can go on this router let's say you won't find the cli tab which is present here which we use to configure the router so this is this is another thing but i want that option on so i'll quickly go and i'll uncheck this again guys you will find uh, some options related to font this is uh, this is a very cool option i personally like this option people wanted the font size whenever they they are configuring the router they want few colors uh, let's say i wanted that you know my font size should be maybe i want it to be uh, 14 and uh, the router uh, ios text i want that text to be in the uh, let's say 
because by default uh, the background is white and the text color is black so let's say i want the background as uh, black and uh, the color of the text as green so if i apply here now if you go and check in this router you can see over here you can see here the screen is black uh, the text is in the green color. You can even see the font sizes is increased. So this is very cool option you can have over here. Again, under preference, uh, you do have a lot of different options. You can um, you can you can change the size of this application if you want the application size to be changed. This complete size of the application Cisco Packet Tracer to be changed. You can you can change it to. So guys, you have uh, multiple options, miscellaneous, answer tree, custom interfaces. Guys, if you want me to come up with details of these tabs, you can let me know. Uh, I won't cover these things in this particular uh, video. Um, again, one more important option I would like to show is under this view option. You know, under this view option also, there are a lot of uh, options where you can in and zoom out, let's say zoom in. And if you wanted to zoom out, you can zoom out. So this is a view option we have. Again, here we have the option where you can check and check this uh, toolbars. Let's say uh, this bottom toolbar or secondary toolbar. So if I uncheck this secondary toolbar, in our secondary toolbar, it disappeared, which is very important. So we want that toolbar. So I'll just go and I'll just bring it back. Okay. So this is our secondary toolbar, the common toolbar. Again, uh, there is uh, one option of the simulation mode, real-time mode, which we saw. And then the logical view and the physical view. Uh, here also, we, we, we have the option like if you, this is currently the logical view. And uh, this will be the physical view. Okay. This is our logical view. So simply you can change it from here also. Uh, again, um, you can see over here, this is like show uh, viewport and show workspace list. So let's say I'll just show you this workspace, uh, workspace list. So this is the uh, devices which are currently present. You can see over here, it status, the power status of those devices, the models of those devices. You can, you can see over here. Again, from this option, guys, you can, you know, add and remove few things. Let's say I wanted to uh, remove this link, this red color link between these two routers. I can do so from here also. So, like, uh, this is the cable, right? I selected the cable. This is a serial cable uh, which is present in this topology. I'll select this and simply what I'll do is I'll remove link. Now, if you go and check, the link is removed. So, Cisco Packet Tracer gives you a lot of options of doing one thing in a different ways. You can achieve one thing by using different options. So that is what Cisco Packet Tracer gives us. There are a lot of options more uh, which which are present. Uh, I won't go, I won't be able to actually go into details of each and every option, but whatever is possible to cover in these two videos, the important options, uh, I've tried to cover it. If you guys wanted, as I told, if you guys wanted that I should focus on some particular option or some particular uh, option it's toolbar or this particular tool in this uh, Cisco Packet Tracer you can uh, write me in the comment section of this video I can uh, make a video on that also so guys I'll stop uh, here in this video maybe I'll come up in more detailed videos related to Cisco Packet Tracer in future uh, thanks for watching these two videos part one and part two of how to use Cisco Packet Tracer. Hopefully, you will find this video useful. Uh, and you, if you really find this video useful, guys, please do share this with your friends and colleagues. I'll catch up in the next video. Till then, bye and take care.